Yeah, we'll see if if playstyle needs to change or not because as you know, Yadi um, was by far the more present Ooh. scoring threat. Um, that might change on a character like Era, who's kind of inherently more supporty, especially with a rune um, standing next to Era. Um, but I don't, I don't mean to sound like Era can't score on her own. But let's talk about this new map. We have not seen this on stream yet. So, just like any other map, um, there are two goal barriers. Um, these times structured slightly different. They're no longer in the corners, but they're in line with the goal, which sets up for some interesting plays. Um, but more importantly, I want to talk about those walls in the middle, because those can really disrupt some of the great passing team plays um, that we've seen really work for teams so far. Yeah, we're doubling down with two Kai's on both sides and also a lot of ranged game, which means the longer this goes as Era is taken down by Asher, the longer this series goes and the larger some of these ranged options become, fighting oh, wow. in these, oh my Jeez. goodness, one after another, fighting in these tight corridors nice is going to be rough. Goal going through Witch Kings, or Witchings, my so, apologies, yeah. Witchings. This is also the first time we've seen Witchings uh, on something that's not Rasmus because of the Rasmus fan. Correct. Picking up Juno and immediately getting us uh, getting a point. So. Yeah, I mean, a great play all around, and we saw the effects of oh, whoops, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> Oops. But uh, the effects of overtime on the core, right? We saw that core, I mean, bullet through those Juno blobs, and that was because we were in overtime. So the core moves, what is it, three times as fast or something crazy like that? Um, so. A violent Juno play, <laughs> um, but able to kind of get an early strike in for Lakeland. Yeah, and a lot of these rounds are definitely building up to go to overtime for the most part. A lot of Ooh. these are playing a lot wow. slower, and then the moment I say that, <laughs> we get a goal on the side of Ole Miss. Yeah, I mean, just caught Soren using his projectiles just a little too loosely um, and it leaves the other side of Kai's goal wide open um, the beauty of Kai is that he can cover the goal from anywhere with his projectiles but he launched his projectiles at um, start instead of holding on to them to save the goal so start just launches the, the core to the other side of the goal and there's nothing Soren can do about it yeah now as we see Asher losing a lot of stagger and era in that staggered state, um, we nice. do see the pressure is really landing on Lakeland at the moment, despite how much pressure we saw at the beginning from Old Miss. Lakeland's not able to get the core too close, and even when they are, their staggers really hurting from it. Yeah, I mean, Lakeland. Obviously, this is extremely early in this full series. Um, but Lakeland coming into this is the theoretical favorite because they, they got the first round by. They are the two seed under SLU with their one and only loss being to SLU. So these teams have already played and Lakeland won. But so far, I mean, now we have open nets for both sides um, and a tie game one to one. But Ole Miss has felt pretty in control thus far. Although, ooh, that was a little scary, but great clear there by Fluffy Waffles to get out of that situation. Yeah, as we now, Juno banished. We do see Bloom putting up a little bit of pressure. Era again staggered, using the elusive to save, save herself from the Asher wall. Just that little blast. Whoa. Or see it from Sora. Wow! Saves it and knocks it into the goal of Ole Miss. Lakeland goes up 2-1. And I guarantee that was extremely intentional. <laughs> yeah. That was fully planned out. That's a great call by Soren to say, hey, I can launch the ball around the rim of this map. And Asher was ready to just catch it <laughs> and tap it in. I mean, a great, great team play 
And I cannot stress it enough, man. These teams are so good. And this, this event, this tournament has been amazing. It's nice to see the level of just awareness both sides have. That, from even from the spectator's pers perspective, seemed like an awkward core flip. But then, once it all comes together, it makes so much sense. It's genius all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just great stuff from like, like great coordination all around. As you see a core flip come out from the opposing Kai. Um, just clearing the ball, nothing too crazy there. But um, keep an eye on Juno as her core flip will be up very soon along with Kai's. Um, Asher seems to be missing hers, and I'm not sure she used it. She I must have missed used it. it, but slightly missed. Interesting. Um, Oh, you know. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. I don't know if you wanted to core flip. I was just thinking the same thing. That feels wow. Oh, like okay. a little bit of a misplay, but they do end up catching the arrow on the other side. They stuff the goal, but Fluffy Waffle survives. But see if they can keep it up. Yep, start there to make core the save. That's a it. Yeah, there great it is. Like when it takes the first series. Great job from Soren. They're coming out of the goal as soon as they have the 3-2 to two advantage. And uh, just showing that Lakeland knows exactly what to do. And that's when something. That lead. Yeah, that's the thing that I've noticed about watching Soren play both in this tournament as well as in the days leading up to today, um, is that he's very good at knowing how to sort of cheat up and get cheeky like goals as a goalie. Like when he knows that his goal is under zero threat, mm -hmm. um, he could he walks up very far and plays as a third forward um, as we just saw there and it it can lead to some really great offensive plays i'm pretty sure everyone just got the awakening that they wanted um from special cooldowns to increase blob duration to i mean literally it was perfect for just about everyone and i don't think anybody's going to be complaining after this first round yeah, definitely hard to complain, although it is a little irritating if you're Lakeland that, you know, you win the first series and you get early picks, but, you know, Ole Miss gets a, ends up getting exactly what they would have gotten anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow! Era gets caught using her primary ability and cannot deflect the core, just sneaks right past her, and Kai isn't there to make the save. Look at that Asher lean. <laughs> just like, yeah, I know what I just got away with, but as this continues where Lakeland's up, we are seeing now the per the presence is once again feeling so drastic on the side of Old Miss. Rune is taken out by Asher. Yeah, a great job finding these picks again. And oh, oh, oh my Lakeland. Wow, that. That one, I'm not so sure if that was intentional, <laughs> but a great play nonetheless to bounce it off the wall in the middle of the map and get that weird 45 degree angle to send the, the core to the other side of the goal when Kai wasn't ready for it. Great play there by uh, Witchlings on the shooter. Yeah, and again, I mean, this is the first time we've seen them not on Rasmus, and they're performing extremely well. Yeah. Yeah, certainly not disappointing, not caving when he does not get his character. Uh, so, great stuff from him. Great stuff from Soren on his Kai. Varun's uh, taken out by Asher again. <laughs> yeah, Lakeland not taking their foot off the gas. Oh my jeez. <laughs> Witchlings finds another just stray shot on the goal that happens to creep in. And before you know it, Lakeland is up 2-0 in this series. It, Really doesn't feel like it. <laughs> yeah. I imagine they're going to try to take... One team is going to try to take Aerials as fast as they can because it... There aerials goes. Juno is kind of notorious. Asher with... Or Kai with Quick Strike is kind of notorious. I think we just saw from both sides the handshake agreement of neither of us are going to get what we want. <laughs> we got what we wanted last round. Have a good time. Yeah. I, I think you're right. And that's... It's all part of the strategy of this game, right? It's equally as important to get what you want as it is to make sure the enemy is getting what they want. Um, so, yeah, both sides kind of just 
handshaking those, saying, nope, nobody's going to benefit from today. Slight misclick from Soren, aiming for the corner, but does end up hitting his own goal barrier. We'll see if that comes back to bite him, but for now it's not looking like it, as Asher is commanding the core right in Fluffy Waffle's face. I think we're beginning to see a play pattern here. It's becoming less of what wow. we expect from Rasmus and more of what we expect from a character that can get away with sitting in the middle of multiple people. Oh, Soren. Uh. <laughs> Not happy with that one. But does launch it off the wall straight into his own goal barrier as Witchlings gets caught out, and that will Ooh. be a goal. Great vanish there from start on the rune. To guarantee that goal. There's no way Soren could get there when he's banished. True. <laughs> yeah, great play from all these players using their abilities of their characters, getting everything at, at you know the best possible moment they can. Yeah, for sure. As you see uh, Start from the room taking so much damage. And <laughs> was that a core flip? Yeah, <laughs> Looking for I think a kill? so. Yeah, yeah I think it was. that was what you were talking about earlier. The, the core flip does have a knockback feature on it. So you can look for some cheeky kills like that. Unfortunately, that one goes just wide, but we do see a gold barrier go down, but Fluffy Waffle's there to save the other one. Let's see, court flip forced out. Lots of just back and forth right now. Pretty stalled in the middle of the map. Yeah, it's becoming a lot slower. The game's pace is kind of spreading out a little bit because, again, we're looking at a big map, but these Juno slimes these blobs are just becoming such a commanding force that that's really what you got to look out for. Four seconds till overtime. This is where the core starts going real and fast. Look at Soren. Look at Soren walking up when his when yeah. his goal is under no threat. He plays it like a forward. It's, oh, <laughs> and, wow! That's speaking of the blobs. Oh, okay, there it is. Yep. Man, and that that's exactly what I was just talking about. Like Soren is so good at understanding the the situation of the round um, and knowing that oh, oh my, my lord how in the world <laughs> uh, Soren oh, finds boy. a wild kill onto Rune and now though Ole Miss is threatening these goal barriers with a numbers disadvantage but a bit of a wasted opportunity there uh, from Lakeland with finding the early kill and having to reel from it. There's that strike, unable to find the goal, but man. This poor rune. Old <laughs> Miss why, get is why would you let everyone play the game anymore? <laughs> that's what I'm that's what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. that game, like, what do you do? There's the elusive burn. Now Asher's gonna look for the shield blast. Yeah, there it is. I mean, talk about a snowball effect. Yeah. Right now, Ole Miss is healing it. Yeah, I know. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> yeah. This, this Juno is Disgusting. And it's it's so interesting to see, too, because we, we do associate um, Witchings as a Razzis player. We talked about it before the game, and we acknowledged when Razzis got banned. But clearly, completely unfazed. Um, showing his flexibility on other characters and not slacking it in the slightest as both goal barriers drop before you can even say the word goal barrier. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, right now, we're seeing Soren does have the core flip. There's still a chance for this series <laughs> to be brought back Whoa. because suddenly Asher's goal Holy. is open, which brings up oh, another point. Wow. Kai was Soren. walking forward with the core strike despite being the goalie. And that's that's <laughs> so smart. And this is what we talk about with this team. They're so coordinated saying, hey, I'm the goalie, but I got my core flip. 